All right, hey guys, time for your math. So go ahead and have out your math notebook. We are going to watch a song to start our math as a review on adding and subtracting our fractions. So go ahead and sit back, relax, and be a good listener.
up, plus one fifth. It smells so good, we had to give it a sniff. The LCM was 20. The new denominator. We found the equivalents quickly. 10, 20 plus 4, 20. 14, 20, it's up for pizza at the pizzeria. some fractions, I would pull up on your iPad or even print off that chart that I gave you on Schoology yesterday about adding and subtracting fractions. It has our four steps and then we reduce at the end. This is a very good reference to have while you're doing your homework. So let's practice those four steps. Um, they have step one being line up our fractions vertically. I told you guys yesterday that I give you guys that option. For fractions, I don't necessarily set them up vertically. Um, I actually usually leave mine going uh, horizontally like this, but your option. Step two then, do we have like denominators here? No. No. Can we add or subtract them when they're different? No. No. So we need to make a list of what? Multiples. Let's do it. Multiples of 7. 7, 14, 7, 14 8, 18, 18? No, 21. 21. Let's stop there. Multiples of 3. 3, three 6, six nine. 9. Do we have anything yet? No. No, we got to keep going. 12, 15. What about now? No. 18. 21. 21. Do we have one now? Yes. What is going to be my new least common denominator? 21. Circle it. Very good. So I know that these two denominators are going to be what? 21. They're going to be 21. I know that. So I'm going to rewrite down here. I know they're going to be 21. So how do I get this 7 to a 21? Can I just erase it and write 21? No. No. 7 times what is 21? 3. 3. 7 times 3 is 21. That's where I need that to become. Now that 5 gets jealous though, so what I do to the bottom, I also have to do to the top. All right, this three. How would I get that three seven. to be at 21? Seven. Three times? Seven. 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 And what I do to the bottom, I also have to do the? Uh, Let's rewrite my new fractions. My new numerator over here is going to be? 15. 15. Good. Five times three is 15. I already wrote my new denominators. Over here, my new numerator is going to be? Seven. seven. All right. My denominator, is it changing? No. no. It's staying the same. the same. What is 15 minus 7? Can I simplify? I always need to check for that. Can I simplify here? No. 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 We are finished. Very nice. Number 2. Two-thirds minus one-fourth. 
Do I have a common denominator? No. Are they like? No. So I need to make a list of what? Multiples. A list of multiples for three and four. All right, multiples of three. Let's hear them. Until we uh, do our work up here this is kind of a step that you could wait so I'll show you here I wrote it or you could wait and do it at the end so it would look like this then all right how do I get this 3 to be a 12 3 times 4, four. four would be 12 and when I do the bottom I also have to do the top so I also multiply that one by three. 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 good how would I get this 4 to be 12 4 times and this uh, one is jealous, so it also gets three. Let's rewrite our new fractions. Two times four? Eight. Three times four? Twelve. One times three? Three. Four times three? Twelve. So you see how uh, you could do, you could write your new denominators at the end, like just now, or if you want to write them once you found that LCD, that least common denominator. Either way. All right, so is my denominator changing here? No. Denominator stays the same. Same. And then what's 8 minus 3? 4. four. No, 5. Five. Five. Oh, my goodness, five. ladies and gentlemen. Math facts. Mm -hmm. All right, can I simplify that? No. no. Nope. So it is done. You guys are on a roll. Number 3, in your math notebook, I want you to do it. Oh, phone. You guys are working on number 3. When you guys had to find your new least common denominator, what was that?
common multiple that you guys shared? 20. 20, good. And five times what was 20? Four. And four times what was 20? Eight minus five is? Three. And your denominator stays the? Same. Very nice. Was there any simplifying to do here? No. No. All right, one more, guys, and then I'm going to give you work time. I'm even going to tell you that I'm trying to trick you on this one. Number four. On your own, I want you to try one-ninth from three-fourths. So this is just a different way that you might see a subtraction problem. I want you to take one-ninth from three-fourths. It's just a different way that you might see a subtraction problem. So I want you to be prepared for it in case you see one like this. All right, I know you're not done yet, but I want to go ahead and get started. One ninth from three fourths, so like this. Always simplify. Always simplify. Is that correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have lots of people telling me yes, this is correct. No. Why is this not correct? Reyna? It's saying oh. to take one ninth from three fourths. Yes, it's saying that I need to take one ninth away from this number. So three fourths, and I'm taking one ninth from this number. See how I told you I was trying to trick you? Yep. I even gave you the heads up. All right, so make sure you guys don't get that confused. All right, don't just read it and then write your equation in this order. Look at the wording, from, which one are you taking it from? All right. Let's list our multiples of four. Four, four eight, eight, twelve, twelve sixteen. Let's do nine. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. 18 What comes after 9, 18, 27, 36. So what's going to be my new least common denominator? 36. So circle it. All right. Four times what would be 36? And what I do to the bottom, I also have to do the top. Nine times what would give me 36? 27. Four. 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 Let's rewrite our new fractions. Um, I've got... Is my denominator changing? No. No, so it's still going to be 36. What's 27 minus 4? 23. Can I simplify that at all? No. 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 Because no. no. nothing goes into 23. We cannot simplify. We are done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your homework for tonight is going to be uh, an I know it math assignment. You are going to have a subtraction and addition mixed up on it. So make sure you look at the symbol, okay? And don't accidentally do subtraction when you're supposed to be doing addition. 
All right. Any questions? There are 10 questions, and it will auto-reassign it if you get less than a 60. All right. Good luck.